Okay, so hopefully you've been watching my videos, and so by now, you must be able to see the vast benefits that content marketing can give you. So what you require now is the what and the how to move forward with your marketing strategy. So let's check out the various types of content material that is going to bring you the very best outcomes. No drum roll. <laughs> well, okay, so number one, articles. Do you like writing? Some people love it, others don't. But if you're not keen, you can always write one article, get it how you like it, and spend a lot of time on it, and then plug it into your favourite rewriter. I do this all the time. And this way, once I have an article, I can re-spin it and reuse it many forms, from videos, scripts to blogs. However, articles are among the first things that ought to be included in your business marketing plan. So to try to write some high quality art articles and useful short articles. If you don't like writing, Fiverr.com is a good resource for writers that will write for you. I often write an article, a bit like this one that I used to create, and then make bullet points from it to do this video. You should write posts that are about what your target marketing is trying to find. Articles provide your specific niche audience, taste of what you know, and hopefully leaving them wanting a bit more. Much like anglers use bait on their hooks to capture fish, you will use posts to capture your visitors' interest. The bait fishermen utilise depends upon what sort of fish they're wanting to catch that day, because the fish they wish to capture are trying to find particular kinds of feed to munch on. So, the fisherman offers them something with that special taste they're looking for. Obviously, the angler has to know a little bit about the fish he wants to catch, and what makes them hungry. So, he probably does a little research, talks to other anglers, and reads books, and watches videos on his subject. When the fish takes a bite of the bait, the angler draws in the fish, so they catch it in their net. Without the bait, a fish would never ever would have willingly just jumped into the boat and into the waiting fisherman's hands. There is some work involved. Well, that's only a good thing. Sometimes an angler can go out and catch nothing. There are no guarantees. To be successful, you have to keep doing it, and sometimes it can take a while to learn before you get things right. So for the most part, the fisherman has to strive to get the fish to come. So articles are basically your bait. You'll plant your short articles in various spots throughout the internet so as to lure the visitors to find them. Once they discover your bait, they'll see the article to see what info you're baiting them with. If the material is great, then you set the hook with your sink line as provided within the post and they get reeled in to your site. Once here, they can see if this is a good feeding rain or not. It won't take them long, a few seconds at most, so they will stay and feed or swim away quickly. If they suspect it's just a bait trap with no real food to eat, they'll just go. So this is where you can offer them information on your product and services, using more relevant and interesting articles and video images. But why not offer them a free book? Ebooks are a digital book in a digital form. I think everyone has seen an ebook and feels comfortable reading them now. I remember feeling a little awkward reading ebooks when they first came out, but now I buy them as opposed to going to the store. They're just a, they're just as good and often a lot cheaper. So ebooks can be viewed on a computer, mobile, or tablet. So these types of books are popular for internet users due to the fact that they can find out information about a topic by buying or downloading a totally free ebook without having to drive to the shop or wait for a print book to arrive in the mail. Ebooks are a brilliant method to show off your knowledge on a particular subject. They assist you to specify as a specialist on the subject of the book. And this placement allows your prospective customer to view you as a person who knows their things well, making you the very best to person to come back to purchase additional products from. Among the fantastic features of developing an ebook is that it's extremely affordable, actually it can cost you nothing but your time, and it does not require you to be a popular novelist in order to get an ebook published on the internet. Of course, these ebooks will be required to be high quality once you know how to develop them. People are visual and they need some eye candy to keep them interested, so don't forget the use of photos and images. Ebooks are really not too difficult to do, and 
in later videos we can check out how to produce an ebook first hand. However, you can produce like mini ebooks. These are reports. Reports are just smaller variations of an ebook. Typically, they're used as lead generators for your ebook or directly for your products or services themselves. Reports are really a terrific way to get visitors to come back to your site again and again, so don't dismiss them as unimportant, because all bait is important and catches different fish. I've actually seen people charge a little fee for a report, but mostly people give them away as complimentary gifts, maybe in exchange for an email. In any case, your prospective customers will get terrific material that will lure them back to your site. The more they visit your site, the more opportunities you'll get to sell them one of your products. This type of content has some great flexibility and can be changed and adapted all the time. However, as far as what information to provide and length of time to make it, ebooks tend to offer the most information to customers. But reports can do the same and you can divide reports to supply both benefit information and the real how-to content. Well, you can put them both in one longer report and offer it without the additional fluff that ebooks usually give. Okay, so this leads us nicely to our website content. Yes, it's all about content, good content that is relevant, educational, entertaining, consistent and reliable. Because your website resembles your organisation or brand, this is where your items are sold or your services are seen and contracted. The website's content is what basically will sell your potential customers and what you're using. A physical service will usually have a sales individual that can work with potential customers face to face in order to close the sale, whereas this isn't possible with an online company. But having said that, there are a number of AI chat boxes available now. However, the content on your website is what you have and it's essentially your sales team. So it needs to address your site visitors when they stop in. And it should showcase your service or products and answer any frequently answered questions. This is where blogs can come in useful. Blogs are like mini websites. They assist in helping people get to know you as a company. Once in a while, websites include useful articles. However, blogs are websites which contain great deals of information that can be upgraded every day or every few days and helps you get your website discovered by online search engines. Your business needs fantastic content in order to stay in the forefront of your visitors' minds. So the more content you can throw at them, the much better your opportunities are. And blog sites are an excellent way to do this, as they offer them education with much shorter tidbits of information on a regular basis. Blog sites are almost a relaxing, more relaxing atmosphere and individuals can learn details about a subject without feeling as if they're being hounded to purchase something. They can likewise become familiar with you as an individual behind the business. People want to deal with people, not simply a site. Then there are newsletters. Don't forget the newsletters. Newsletters are also an excellent method to present content to your prospects over and over. They work together with your autoresponder and email marketing programs, which is why many companies build email lists. Newsletters offer short little bits of news on a subject that a prospect gets on a regular basis. They can be sent out every week, month or every couple of days. Individuals that do stumble on your site can pick up and obviously opt into your list if they choose to do so. Usually because you offer some sort of bribe to get them to join your newsletter and sign up in the list where they can be sent details routinely in their email box. Imagine giving your potential customers the information they want on a weekly or regular monthly basis while exposing them to your company consistently. Using a newsletter autoresponder makes getting your prospects back to your site a lot easier. Obviously it's down to you and your imagination but these are main ways of getting content into the minds of your customers so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if it helped how it helped and let me know what type of content you're producing for your company watch out for my next video on how to actually create content so thanks very much for watching i hope it helped and i'll see you in the next video bye